is a condenser mic? A condenser microphone, sometimes called a capacitor microphone or an electrostatic microphone, is a type of transducer designed to convert energy from sound waves, also known as mechanical wave energy, into voltage or an electrical signal. It does this using a technology called variable capacitance. Essentially, the element or capsule of a condenser mic is a specialized type of capacitor, with a capacitor being an electronic component that temporarily stores energy. Condenser microphones were invented in 1916 by E.C. Wendt of Western Electric. The name comes from the original name for a capacitor, which was condenser. A basic capacitor consists of two metal plates. The distance between the plates determines the amount of capacitance. In a condenser microphone, the diaphragm, made from a metal-coated membrane, often gold-sputtered mylar, serves as one plate, and it moves in respect to a fixed or non-moving plate called a back plate, which serves as the other side of the capacitor. The movement of the diaphragm in response to pressure changes from sound waves brings it closer to and farther from the fixed plate, resulting in a changing or variable capacitance. From there, several different techniques can be used to extract the audio signal. In a DC biased condenser microphone, which is a very common type, the diaphragm and plate have a fixed charge called a bias voltage, and that's provided by either phantom power or a battery. As the diaphragm moves, the voltage varies above and below the bias charge, providing an audio signal. The second type of condenser mic technology called an RF condenser microphone uses an oscillator that's modulated by the capacitance changes. This is the type of approach that's used by Sennheiser's MKH series of microphones. In an electret condenser mic, the element is made from a ferroelectric material which is known as an electret and has a permanent charge. No external power is required for bias, although external power may still be needed for other electronics in the microphone. A tube mic works like any other condenser mic but uses a vacuum tube in the mic's onboard electronics. Now, the output of a condenser microphone consists of quite a high voltage, but very low current or amperage because so little energy is stored in the capacitor. For this reason, a condenser mic requires an impedance converter circuit built into the mic to buffer the signal and increase the current level. Therefore, almost all types of condenser microphones require external power, which today means phantom power in most cases. And as a side note, the standard 48-volt phantom power we all know and love today was invented by Neumann in the late 1960s as a way to power condenser microphones from mixing consoles without need for external power supplies. The big advantage that condenser mics have is that the diaphragm can be made very thin and very light, which makes it extremely responsive to sound waves. This gives condensers the widest frequency response and best transient response of pretty much any category of microphones. Condensers also tend to provide high sensitivity and output with lower noise than other types of mics. Of course, there are always exceptions, but in general, this is why condenser mics are so popular for studio recording on everything from acoustic instruments to drums, from vocals to full orchestra. Condenser mics are also used on stage all the time, and in recent years, we've seen a number of condensers designed specifically for use by onstage vocalists. Today, we have an incredible variety of condenser microphones available from dozens of manufacturers, covering a wide range of prices and features. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about audio and music concepts like this, visit the news and research page at sweetwater.com or check out the other videos in our Glossary Terms playlist.